Hey Hillside Church, Pastor Matt here. This is day three of week three. Hope you guys have been following along with us at our daily devotionals. Uh, today we're gonna look at Colossians again. We're looking at verses eight through 15. Take a moment and read it uh, above if you don't mind, or if you wanna listen to it, that is below as well. I'll wait right here while you do that. Also a quick announcement, uh, right here, If don't forget, if you did boxes for Operation Christmas Child, we're picking those up on Sunday. That's Sunday the 20th, this Sunday. Uh, if you need more information, you can see Samaritan's Purse website. Just Google it and you can find it and you can find more information on how to do that. But we are receiving our boxes because we have to deliver them this week. So make sure you get those in. Now let's talk about our passage in Colossians. Uh, there, if you were here with us Sunday, you heard Beth talk about the list. This is kind of the list of the do's and the don'ts that we have. And um, you know, it's very interesting to me uh, as Christians what we can often focus on. And a lot of times we tend to focus on what we're not supposed to do. As a matter of fact, I think culture would tell you uh, that Christianity and the church in general is more focused on the nots, what we're not supposed to do, what we're against, as opposed to what we're for. Uh, as most of you know, I am a, I'm an athlete. Uh, I'm a, what's known as an endurance runner, trainer, triathlete. Uh, and, and one of the things that I found interesting when I started, I didn't think there was any way, first of all, that I could I could run those distances, do those distances. And the other thing I thought about was, man, how do those people eat healthy like that? You know, how do they do all the stuff they're supposed to do in order to get to where they need to be? And what I found out, the more I trained, the more I ran, the more I did the things I needed to do to accomplish the task of finishing my race, uh, the more I found I didn't need to do those bad things, uh, like drinking the Cokes or having the sugars or eating the cake, that if I wanted to run the race well, if I wanted to train well, my body began to crave the good things, the fruit, the vegetables, the things I needed in order for my training to go well. Because I began to focus on that which was the positive, the good things, and like, like these two lists, if you look at these two lists, if we can focus on those good things, on the loving one another, on being at peace with each other, really focus on those issues, then those things that are negative tend to fall away. Because the harder we try to do the, non, the negatives, try not to do the negatives, the more trouble we find ourselves in. Romans even tells us that where Paul says, the more I know what I shouldn't do, the more I want to do what I shouldn't do. So I think uh, we as Christians, when we run into these lists, we need to be aware of those negatives, but I think we need to focus on those positive things, uh, such as the fruits of the Spirit, uh, those things that bring kindness, gentleness, goodness, self-control into our lives. And when we can focus on those, then I think we don't have to worry about the negatives. And when we can focus on those, we can begin to see the change, not just in our own lives, but our lives begin to impact the rest of the world. I think that's really what Christ wants for us. And really, obviously, the best way to focus on those things is to keep yourself grounded in who Jesus Christ is, to keep our lives wrapped up in Him. Hey, this has been day three. Hope you're enjoying it. Be back with us tomorrow for day four as we have another great devotional for you.